Hey pups! Arby here, and welcome or welcome back to another Unpopular Opinions video. Before I begin, yes, I am a furry, and if you read the title, this isn't a video about me talking about B stars. I'll make a video on that later, believe me on that. But the Tree of Danger from Dragon Ball Super, a lot of people, at least what I've seen in the Dragon Ball Super fandom, see the Tree of Danger as villains based on their first impressions and appearance in the Expo episodes and the Tournament of Power episodes. But I think there's more to them than what the anime and manga wants us to believe. Not sure if Akari Toriyami is going to get more in depth with other characters from the other universes, including Universe 9, possibly they're the fan favorite, or not in the future. But hey, that's why fandom exists. These puppers can be villains or heroes, however the fans see them. People like me take these three dogs like a baby to a bottle because I'm a huge fan of dogs and I love doggos. I grew up around doggos. Doggos are awesome. Mainly because I, along with the other fans, want to know more about them. From what we do know, they're brothers, unknown if they're blood related or not. They each have a certain power, Basil's kicking power, Lavender's ability to use poison, and Bergama's ability to absorb attacks and grow bigger and use his foe's strength against them. And they all seem to care about each other, such as Bergama saying, and I quote, We always had to work together and guard each other's backs just to survive in that steaming trash heap they call the Ninth Universe. Seeing as they act like real wolves, hunting their prey when fighting Goku, and caring for each other like a real family, kind of easy to see how they could pass off as heroes, or just trying to survive and thrive and live. Hey. The Ninth Universe may be a trash heap, but it's their trash heap. But looking deeper into their characters and personalities more, I believe they're more of heroes. Well, Basil and Lavender being somewhat of anti-heroes, and Bergamo being more of a hero than villains. Well, let me explain why. Basil being a bit cocky and having an ego in his first appearance when fighting Boo kind of tells maybe a little bit about his character. He likes messing around with his opponents and having fun with it. Want to make fighting someone like Boo look easy, which clearly wasn't if you watched the episode, and going above and beyond to win, such as eating a power up to make him Hulkified. To me, Basil seems like the kind of character who's all tough and Mr. Macho and will do almost anything and everything to win, but the reality is, he's basically a kid. They never said how old he was. I'd say he's around maybe 16 to 18 or in his early 20s, judging by his behavior and character, just wanting to show off to impress people and show how strong he is, his brothers, and the entire Ninth Universe, and not wanting to let down his Kai, Destroyer God, or his brothers, but seemingly ends up underestimating an opponent, like Boo, if it gets a little too cocky and slips up. Lavender... Hmm... I wouldn't go as far as to call him a villain, just by his psychotic and sadistic behavior, and evil redneck vibe he has? Well, let me explain further. Hopefully I'll make sense. While Lavender has a sadistic look and ability to use poison, he is actually somewhat of a nice guy. Now, he will go to the extent of cheating by using his poison to win or kill his opponents, but he could also use it to protect his brothers if they were in danger or they couldn't want to fight with a foe stronger than they are. Adding that to the psychotic and sadistic side of him, it's either used for intimidation, a scare tactic, him actually being crazy, or all of the above. But with him being an anti-hero just like Basil, it's easier for me to see why he'd be in that category. Lavender being an anti-hero, at least in my opinion, is pretty easy to classify him as such. Like with Basil and Bergamo, he does care deeply about his brothers. He isn't above cheating when it comes to winning a fight, but I believe deep down inside this crazy, toxic, obsessed wolf-looking coyote boy is a man with a heart of pure, glittery gold and will do anything to protect his brothers. Speaking of which, on to Bergamo. At the beginning, we all knew from the start he was the leader of the pack, telling Basil to make it look easy when fighting Majin Buu, allowing Lavender to kill his opponents in any way he wants, and even asking the Grand Zenon to restore the order about erasing the other universes in the tournament. This guy has the whole package, along with a good-looking muscle man bod. Well, I didn't say anything! But let's look further into his character, and as to why I believe he's classified as a hero. Again, hopefully I'll make some sense. Around the fight with Lavender versus Gohan, Gohan upped his game to use his energy to sense Lavender's footwork, and movements, with Bergamo having high respect for, saying 
That's the spirit of an opponent truly worth fighting. Before his fight with Goku, he ends up making a big speech calling Goku a villain, asking the Grand Zenos to spare the losing universes in the tournament, which of course the Grand Zenos agreed to. Unfortunately, the deal never went through because Bergamo didn't win. Before we move on, let me get this rant out of the way first. I agree with Bergamo on this one. Goku didn't even ask the Omden Kings to spare the universes! Heck! He didn't give a flying fuck if his universe would be erased. He didn't even set aside his stupid Saiyan pride to win. I know hashtag not my Goku is pretty much dead at this point, but if I were Goku, I would let Bagamo win, show my white flag of surrender, and let the other universes live. Goku used to be a hero saving millions of innocent lives, but now he doesn't give a shit and only cared about his stupid Saiyan pride. What, are you Vegeta now, Goku? Or are you the Saiyan version of Frieza? Okay, okay, I'm good. Sorry. I had to get that last bit of rage out of me. Even when Bergamo lost the expo battle, he still vowed to defeat him no matter what. Yeah, I get that it was kind of a sore loser there, but not as bad as Champa is, but for good reason. He wanted to save the other universes despite his true intentions. He cared about his brothers, he even cared about his universe, trash heap or not, and he seemed to care about the lives of others as well in that moment. If Bergamo managed to survive the Tournament of Power, he most likely would have done the same thing Seventeen did, wishing that all the losing universes that were erased be brought back to life. I know it probably can't change anyone's opinion about the trio of danger being villains, but that's entirely okay. These videos are just made to express and tell what my unpopular opinion is on a show, person, characters, etc. And I hope my points made some sense. If they didn't, then I'm sorry I confused you all. But I want to know what you think about the trio of danger. Do you think they're heroes? Villains? Anti-heroes? What are your thoughts on these three awesome doggos? Share in the comments below. And with all that being said and done, I'll see you in the next one, pups. Cue the outro. RP is out. Peace!